Hi my dear students, welcome to students reference. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get notifications for the upcoming videos. And today we are going to discuss about the basic concepts in geometry. First one is point. And what is this? This is a point. So, a tiny dot made with a sharp pencil on a sheet of paper represents a point. So, a point shows an exact position or location in space. It has no length, breadth or height. Points are named using capital letters. Example, a, B, C or three points. Next one is line. A line is collection of points in a straight path which extends endlessly in both the directions. The arrowhead are drawn at each end of the line to show that it can be extended to any length on both sides. That means a line does not have any fixed length. Lines can be named in two ways by using a small letter by using any two points on it. This is example for by using a small letter line P. So we have to draw one line with two arrowheads and it is named as small letter P. Symbolically the line P is represented as P and this is line PQ. Two dots are here named P and Q. So to represent this first we have to write the letters PQ then we have to Draw one line with two arrowheads above the letters PQ. Lines can be divided into two types. First one is straight line and second one is curved line. A thread when held tightly between two hands represents a straight line. This is straight line. A thread when held loosely between two hands represents a curved line. This is curved line. So, when a line is not straight, it is called a curved line. And straight line is divided into three types, vertical line, horizontal line and slanting line. Next one is line segment. A part of a line with two end points and definite length. Definite length means fixed length is called a line segment. So these two are important points. It has two end points and a definite length. And here A and B are the end points. Thus it is named as the line segment AB or line segment BA. Symbolically the line segment AB is represented as AB bar or AB above line segment. And here the edge of the table is the example for line segment. Okay. So the edge of the table is of fixed length and represents a line segment. So what is the difference between a line segment and line? Line segment has fixed length but line has no fixed length. And line segment has no arrow heads at both ends but line has arrow heads at both ends. And next one is ray. A part of a line that starts at one fixed end and extends endlessly in the other direction is called a ray. It has no definite length like line. So a ray means it has one fixed end and the other end can be extended to any length. So we can't extend this end but we can extend this end. 
So symbolically at the ray, PQ is represented as PQ above a line with one arrowhead. Example is sun rays. They start from a point and extend endlessly in one direction. So this is the picture. So if we compare line, line segment and ray, line segment only has fixed length but ray and line do not have fixed or definite length. Exercise 10.4 1 name each of the following figures. A look at the given figure it has two end points. The end points are A and B. So it is a line segment. So we can write AB and above AB we have to draw one line. So this is line segment AB and B it has two arrow head so it's a line so q r above we have to draw one line with two arrows and c it has one fixed point and one arrow head so it's a ray and here t is the fixed point so t s above we have to draw one ray one line with one arrow head and here arrow head is in S side so we have to put arrow head in S side and problem D this is a line so J K above we have to draw a line problem E this is point point capital P because Points are named using capital letters. To name the line segments in each of the following figures. So for problem A, the line segments are IA, AR, RU, UD, DN and NI. And for problem B, the line segments are PQ, QR, RS and PS. For C, the line segments are AB, BC and EC. And for D, the line segments are LM, MN, NO and LO. 3. Name the lines and rays in the following figures. Problem A. A line with two arrow heads is known as line. A line with one arrow head and one fixed point is known as ray. So here AD and CE or the lines and rays are OA, OB, OC, OD and OE and problem B has only one line PR and two rays Q, P and Q, R. Four, join the dots on the grids using straight lines or curved lines and form the following shapes. A square. So to draw a square we need two points on row and two points on column or three by three points or four by four points. And here I am draw another one square one two three four on a row. Likewise, we have to take four points on column. So, this is also one square. So, you have to draw only one square. That is enough. And for B, circle. So, I am taking these two points, these two points, these two points, these two points. Okay. So, here we have to draw the curved lines. So here I have drawn one circle and see triangle here we have to use straight and slanting lines. So I take these two slanting line and this straight line. You can draw at any place. 
5 name the line segments and rays in the following figures and for problem A the line segments are OT and OP OT bar comma OP these two are the line segments and rays TA TA and PB okay and for problem B line segment is NO and rays are MN and MO and for problem C the line segments are RB comma TU U comma VU these three are line segments and the rays are SR comma ST these two are the rays so my dear students today we have completed basic concepts in geometry and exercise 10.4 if you have any doubts you please write it in the comment box if you like this video please like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe the channel we will meet in the next class thank you